and welcome back to my scrappy space. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I get the privilege of playing along with day eight of 30 Days of Sketches and I'm also combining my collection obsession kit that I've been working on this month. This is the beautiful sketch created by Rachel Usher and I'm super super excited to get going on this. So these are some of the elements that I pulled just because this is gonna to lend to more of a busier looking layout. So I wanna be careful of the embellishments that I put on it. I wanted to use these photos, but the photos are a little large, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reprint them. But I think that these colors are gonna go fabulously. So let's pick out our papers. I'm gonna put this sticker sheet to the side. I love this, love it, love it, love it. And I'm probably gonna use this one right off the get. Yep. <laughs> How's that for making an easy decision? And I love this green too. But let's go ahead and see what else we have. Those cut aparts, or you can just cut those in a strip. That would be super cute for a double page spread. Wouldn't that be adorable for a double page spread? If you just like cut a strip, just choose one of these. I might do that. I like that idea. Hmm, there we go. There's another layout maybe in the process. And then we have beautiful plaid. There's that icon again. The cut apart with the fish. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. I have some really good fishing stories about my friend who decided to go up into the freezing water, clear up to her waist. Oh, it's not cold, she said. It's not cold. Yeah, it was freezing. Beautiful, beautiful wood grain. These cut aparts again, that green. And this floral, so pretty. These border strips and this stripe, and then the stripe is also the border strips. Okay, I think what I'm gonna use for these, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this icon paper, because I love it, and also this tree paper. And then, let's pull this forward. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this wood grain. And I know there's a lot of stripes on here as far as the strips, but I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna pull in some yellow or rust and go through my color bins that I've been going through and just to bring in some extra color. And I think that I will add those into the stripes I, don't, I hate to call them stripes, but strips, and go from there. Okay, come back and we'll start with the base. Okay, real quickly before we get going, I did pull in this yellow, which is from Soak Up the Sun, which that doesn't go at all, but this yellow dot goes perfectly. And then I also have this rusty orange, and this was, wow, from a paper pad, but I think it would work really well as well. So I'm not quite sure which pieces I will use, but I know that this is gonna be my starting point. Now I'm gonna go grab my cut file. I wanted to share with you my process so far. First off, I wanna say please forgive me for the way my videos are right now. I rearranged my desk and now my video arm that holds my camera is not long enough and so I'm in the process but I still needed to get my videos out so I just ask that you guys please bear with me. All right so here's the sketch again and what I did is I just took my papers over and I cut them in different widths and I did them one inch by one and a half and I just moved them around and I just am planning on doing them just randomly across 
the paper. And I'm just going to build it on this background here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to rough up the edges or not. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. So if I do decide, I have an extra one here to the side that'll give me some working room because I don't want any gaps. I went ahead and cut this piece out. Wanted to have that wood grain in there. And then for my photos, I was going to use these but what I've decided to do is um, I'm going to do a project life layout over to the side so I'm going to use those on that and I had this four by six but I really liked the two photos so I just went ahead and cut it and matted both of them on white and then also on this rust crosshatch and so I have that now I'm going to go grab my cut file what I did is I went ahead and I roughed up every couple, I guess these three, this one, this one, this one, just to give it a little dimension, a little texture. And then I was going to do this one, but I'm not going to. I've roughed up the edges of my photo. And then I wanted to show you how I inked this. I saw this. I wish I remembered who showed me this, but they went ahead and inked their die cut on their sheet and I thought that looked really good I don't have a whole lot of inks and so I was playing around with the colors and that type of thing and um, this is what I came up with I wanted to show this to you I don't know if you guys have ever tried that but just just in case this is how I've inked it and now I'll get that adhered down and I'll probably go ahead and finish out my layout and then show you what I've done. I finished my layout. As you can see, I went ahead and just laid these out and I did rough up every couple just to give it a little bit of dimension. This took me a hot minute, I'll tell you what. I am still very new to using my cut files and I saw this and I was like, oh, that's perfect, that's what I wanna use. But I didn't look at how thin it was and how small it was and how all these little pieces I was gonna to have to adhere. But I did do it and I'm really excited that I did. The other thing that I wanted to share was, I am very limited on the amount of inks that I have. And one of the colors that I was lacking was this rusty orange. I showed a little piece of the persimmon that was at the bottom of that Oh, scrap piece and that was really really too red when you put it with the layout so I went ahead and went with blue and then I came back and added two more mattes which I'm really actually kind of excited because I do have blue in the background and when I do my next page I can add those other additional colors in and I'm not just limited to the couple that I had before so I really like that that it was introducing more colors and then I went ahead and did my cluster down here instead of up here because I have so much kind of going on up here. But I love this. This is a great introduction page to the camping trip that we were on that time. And I really, really enjoy doing the sketch here. I want to thank you guys all for coming. Please go check out the playlist below. It is going to be so much fun seeing all the different creations that come from this sketch. I hope you guys are having a super amazing day and you're out there making some memories. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.